Hi, welcome to the Way to Eternal Life podcast with John Gill. Prepare your hearts and minds and be inspired as we open the Word of God today with you. Now, here is John Gill. Greetings in the name of the Lord. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's podcast. I am your host, John Gill. Let us start out with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord God, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Lord God, Lord, for how that you have not been, you've been mindful of us, never leaving us alone, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for just being the God of our salvation, Lord God. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you will bless upon to this hour, Lord God, Lord, bless upon this podcast, Lord. We pray that you continue to save souls, heal bodies, reclaim, reclaim backsliders, sanctify believers, that your name will be glorified. Bless this podcast, anoint this podcast, anoint the word of God. And Lord, whatever is accomplished, Lord, we give you the praise and the honor and the glory, Lord. We ask all these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Well, at this time, we thank you. So much for you tuning in to, excuse me, to today's podcast. And this is the way to eternal life coming to you over all the major podcast stations. We just so appreciative and thankful for how God is continuously blessing and and just continuing to uplift and to just what God is doing thus far. It's just it's amazing how what God is doing. And at this time, um. Before we get into uh, the continuation of today's uh, message, um, we do have a wonderful selection that the Lord um, that uh, we have for you, and we pray that this selection will be a tremendous blessing. And at this time, we're going to go ahead and um, uh, we pray that this this song will be a blessing to you, and we'll be right back right afterwards. May God richly bless and keep you. Above all wealth and 
treasures of the earth. There's no way to measure what you were. We will be right back. Here is a word from our sponsor. Hey, you! If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. They have all the creative tools that will allow you to edit right on your phone or computer. Wow, that's awesome. Then we'll distribute to all the major platforms too. Awesome, man. You can make some money with no minimum listenership. So what you waiting for? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Now back to John Gill. The true hero cares so much that he's t- that he's that the Holy Ghost, the true hero, comes and, and, and minister to you. Tell you, don't go this way, don't do this, don't do that. The true hero of all. He is your still small voice, he is your conscience. The true hero. The true hero is there to comfort you when nobody else is not around. Nobody else can comfort you, but the true hero can. The true hero heals you from every disease that you have. The true hero. The true hero listens to you. The true hero comforts you when you need comforting in your hour of sorrow. The true hero. The true hero delivers you from things that you would never thought that you would ever be delivered from. The true hero delivers you from from alcohol when you were a compulsive alcoholic. The true hero. When you when you tired of being sick and tired and all day long, every two or three seconds, you always have a bottle in your hand. Or when you're stressed, you always got a bottle. The true hero delivers from every alcoholic. The true hero delivers you from the drug addiction that you might have. The true hero delivers you from narcotics. The true hero uh, does not make you go crazy. Like some do. Like some medications make you go crazy and make you go hallucinating. And some drugs make you hallucinate. Some drugs will, will give you a temporary high, but it doesn't fulfill your, your, your longing heart. The true hero. <coughs> a tr- the true hero put a new song in your mouth. 
a song of praise. Not a song of nobody knows the trouble I see. The true hero gives you victory in, the, in your darkest battle. The true hero. And that true hero, my friend, is here for you today. It's not, he ain't the hero of yesterday. He ain't the hero of tomorrow. He's here, he's the, he is the hero of right now. A true hero rescues you from everything that you need to be rescued from. The true hero, praise God, delivers and will turn the judge heart. The true hero gets you out of jail. The true hero, he's your advocate between God and man. Don't you want to know him? That's what the Paul says. The apostle Paul said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Resurrection means made alive. The true hero makes you alive in him. Because when you're in sin, you are dead. When you're in sin, you are depressed. When you're in sin, you've got anxiety. And the true hero is here. He is saying to you right now, he said, he said, come on, folks, I can rescue you from this. But he's saying, turn to me. We preached the message not too long ago on a couple episodes back where it talks about that it's time to seek the Lord. It is time right now, my friends, to, to get off of your throne and get on God's throne. And let God be the, be, be the head and ruler of your life. Not you. Get off your high horse. Some right now need to get off their high horse. The hero is here. He has shown great courage when he could have cowered away. He could have just sat there in, 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 his, in, in heaven. But he loved us that much that he cared so much that he came down to this world to save you. Let me quote this. This is actually in my notes. Let me quote this. He said he was despised. Let's read that. In Isaiah chapter 53. I want you to listen to this. And if you're just tuning in, we're, we're, the, the, today's message is entitled, the true, he, uh, the true Hero of All. Isaiah 53, verse, verse 3, it says, He was despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted, he was acquainted with grief. We hid as though our faces from him. He was despised. That means he was hated. And we esteemed him not. We didn't even, with the word esteem in this case means we did not even want to recognize him. The Bible says he came unto his own. And his own received him not. But to as many as received him, to him gave he power. The, heal, uh, the, the true hero gives you power to become the sons and daughters of God. The true hero not only rescues us from spiritual danger, but the real hero knows how to keep us alive and keep us safe and to keep us running for our lives. He was despised and rejected a man, a man of sorrow, he was acquainted with grief. We hid as if our faith, if were our faces, I'm sorry, from him. And he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he bore our griefs. The true hero bore our grief that we may know him. Do you want to know him? The word know in, it denotes, in this case, intimacy. 
that we may know him. That we may know him. Do you want to know him? Do you want to be intimate? Do you want that personal relationship with him? And the power of that resurrection, that same power, that same hero, he, he was dead. He was dead naturally that we, may be, uh, that we may be dead to our sin spiritually. And that we, when he, was, when he rose again on the third day, that symbolizes in our case that we are, when we give our hearts and life to him, he resurrects us from the dead state of sin. That's the hero. And the hero does this. He says, surely he bore our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we still, yet did we esteem him stricken and smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The same hero, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, this is what I want to get to. With his stripes, the, he, the true hero is the healer. With his stripes. We are not only naturally healed, but we're also spiritually healed. The true hero. Do you want to be healed? There are some right now, under the sound of my voice, might be thinking about committing suicide because you've been in isolation for so long and it brings a, it brings a sense of depression. I'm letting you know the, the healer and the hero has come. And he wants to rescue you from your depression. There are some right now that might be on the verge of committing suicide, that might be on the verge of going into depression, and you might be on the verge of saying that there is no way out. I'm letting you know that the hero has arrived. He is standing right now, knocking at your heart. He is there right now, counseling you, encouraging you to consider your one and only soul. And if you were thinking about leaving him, he's, he's there trying to counsel you and telling you, because when, let me tell you something, when nobody else is around, God is around. He, you can call him up 24-7. You don't need to call 911, just call 1-800-HEAVEN, praise God. Amen. Because let me tell you something. The, he, the hero, he's more than just admired. See, when, you, and when, when somebody admires a hero, they, 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 they'll admire it, and then as soon, soon as that wears off, then they go back, and then nobody never talks about them no more. When he is the hero of your life, I'm speaking for my own self. He is there when nobody else is never there. The, he, the, the same hero, my hero, Jesus Christ, was my best friend when I didn't have no friends around. He hears everything that I am, he was there when I, when I was going through, the hero. And he took that upon himself. He carried all of my burdens upon his shoulders. He was my counselor. He was my teacher. He was my mentor. He was everything to me. He was my provider when I needed providing. He was my defense attorney when I needed to be defended. That's the hero. And when you know him, 
when you get intimate with him, you will have that same relationship. He wants to be that personal savior to you today. That's what the hero is. The true hero of all. See, when you go to the doctors or when you go to a nurse, you only see them one time, maybe twice, maybe three times. And then after a while, then you won't see them no more. You can't get in contact with them no more. Well, some may, well, I can get in contact with my physician, yeah, but how about at three o'clock in the morning? Will you, can you be able to get a hold of your physician at three o'clock in the morning when you really need him or her? Now, they will tell you that you, you, you are, you're disturbing my rest. You're disturbing my sleep. And then sometimes when people, you know, when they compliment them and, and some get puffed up with pride. Jesus, when this, the scripture says that he made himself a no reputation, he humbled himself. When they, when they, when they praised him for for, for healings and all of that, and he still maintained his integrity. And he still, he didn't even, the Bible says that he never, ever got himself puffed up. When he died for us, that's why we sing songs that, 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 that denotes worshiping the Father. Worshiping the Son and worshiping the Holy Ghost. They are worthy of our praise because without them, none of us would not be alive today. I know I wouldn't. If it wasn't for those stripes, my poor sick soul would never be healed. My mental state, sin makes you crazy. It makes you act up. It makes you do things that you don't want to do. Do you honestly, I'm going to be honest with you, just because they say, I smoke pot, I smoke weed, I do this, I do that, I cuss, I this, that. Do you realize that inwardly, inside of you, let me tell you something, your, your soul says, I don't want to do this. But your flesh, in your back of your mind, it, says, it tells you, the Holy Ghost knows how to work with you. You may think that you want to keep on doing it because you're telling somebody else off. But in your heart and in your mind, you say, I don't want to be like this. I don't want to cuss. I don't want to be a bad mom. I don't want to be a bad father. I don't want to be a bad person in my society, in my community. And let me tell you something, false preachers don't help it much. It is time right now to come back to God, not give me. We hope that you enjoyed the Way to Eternal Life podcast today. If we can be of any help, please let us know by emailing us at contact John Gill at waytoeternallife.com Once again, that is contact John Gill at waytoeternallife.com or visit us on our website at www.waytoeternallife.com or like us on Facebook at waytoeternallife53 don't forget to subscribe and download the podcast to get continuously episodes. And now, here is John Gill with The Final Thoughts. Friends, you've heard the message. You heard this word, the true hero of all. I don't know what anybody out there is going through right now. I don't know. But only God knows what you're going through. Only God knows what you're in need of right here and right now. Don't wait. Don't put off what you can do right now. Don't wait. When you wait, 
You will procrastinate and procrastinate. Don't let it be too late. Your first responder, your first frontliner. We talk about it, that ye may know him in the power of his resurrection. He is here for you today. Whether it be if you heard this tonight, whether you heard it in the morning, whether you heard it in the afternoon, or whatever day you've heard it, the hero is here for you today. He is here for you right now. Your frontliner is here. He's ready to heal you right now. Not talking about natural healing, but he wants to heal your emotions. He wants to heal your mind. Whatever you need healing you in, he is here for you today. Will you come? Will you come? You know that he is, he is here for you. You know that he wants to be your, the Lord of your life. That we just talked about it, that we may know him. Do you want to know him and the power he gave, He gives you power? The same healer is here to give you power. My friends, he is there for you. He's there when nobody else is not there. He's your mother, he's your father, he's your friend. He's the provider. The great I am and the great I am is here for you today. Will you come? Wherever you at, whether you're driving, listening, whether you are at the airport waiting to get on the plane, or wherever you might be, whether you're at home, whether you are in, uh, at your job, or wherever you are, the, he the hero is there wherever, you, wherever you're at. Omnipresent, he's everywhere. And he's here for you right now. Wherever you, uh, if you are seeking, seek him with all your heart. Going to church is good, but it will never fix what your problem really is. Until you acknowledge what the problem is, you'll never get healed. You'll never get free. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection. And, and, and you, the Bible says, She shall bring forth a son, Matthew 121, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for Jesus saves his people from their sin. Jesus' people are saved from sin. Do you want to be free from sin today? Well, what is repentance? The Bible says, Godly sorrow. Work it, repentance. That's Bible definition of what repentance is. It's godly sorrow. It's a brokenness. It's humility. You got to be humble to be saved. While the inspiration is here, you got to be, you got to have inspiration to get saved. And it takes the same inspiration to stay saved. While he is near, the Bible says, Love and kindness have I drawn thee. God is drawing you. If he's drawing you right here, right now, why not humble your heart? Why not give up the sin business and get it right, right here? Don't do it because it's a fad. This is not a fad. Holiness is a way of life. It's not a religion. It's a way of life. You read the Holy Bible, and God wants you to be holy. The Bible says, be holy, for I am holy. He wants, he wants you to be holy in your conduct, in your, in, your, in your character. The hero is here for you. The true hero is here for you today. Humble your heart. Humble your mind. Open up your heart. I don't know what you're searching for. I don't know what you were seeking. But God knows what you're seeking. He knows what you need right now. Give him a chance. 
And I promise you, my friends, you will never regret it. And if you have given your heart and life to him, let me tell you how to do it. The ABC of salvation, first of all, is more than just ask. You've got to acknowledge that you need help. And then you ask, Lord, I need, uh, Lord, I need you. One. Two. Believe that he just died, not just he just died, but believe that he died on the cross for you. Say, truly believe within your heart. And then see, confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord of your life. The hero is here. Will you come? If you don't know what to pray, pray this. I'm sorry, God. I truly am sorry for everything I have done. If you would forgive me of all my sins and teach me, Lord, how to live just like you in this present world, Lord, I will give, I will dedicate the rest of my life to you. And if you would pray that prayer with, if you pray that prayer or something similar to that, I want to hear from you. Email me at way, uh, contact John Gill at way to eternal life .com or go on to our Facebook page and post the thing saying, I got saved. Or I rededicated my life to him. Or, or God has healed me or whatever. We would like to hear from you. On our Facebook page at way to eternal life uh, 53. Facebook.com, way to eternal life 53. We would like to hear from you. And let me tell you something, my friends. We tr I truly love you out there with all my heart. And I'm praying for each and every one of you all. I may not know you by name, but I do, uh, but I do know that you need, you, we, we are praying for you. To our first, our true responders that are out there right now, we are praying for you. We love you. But give your heart and life to Him. It's time to come back to God. And once again, there is a way to eternal life. May the Lord truly richly bless and may He keep you. Thank you for listening. And may God bless and keep you.